Okay, so today I'm going to go over uh, how to do deep water in uh, Doom in both Vanilla Doom and uh, Boom. Because they're slightly different methods and I, depending on what kind of project you're doing, you may be only be doing only Vanilla or Limit Removing. And so the Boom will just not work on that. But if you're doing Boom, which is actually easier to do deep water in, then this will be helpful too. They have a uh, very similar techniques. So I'm just going to start with a boom project because even though it, a, it's a boom project, uh, the vanilla technique will still work. So let's start out with uh, drawing. We're just going to draw a big weird shape. I'm going to make this grass. Make this sky. And there we go. We have a beautiful thing. Now we're going to create a body of water. Make this water. Let's set this to negative 24. Wow, we have water. Let's set this to ash. And then we'll we'll start with the vanilla way of doing water. So what you want to do is you want to create uh, just like an outline of your water inside the body of water. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to raise this a little bit. I guess you could lower it a bit. Let's try... You just want to make sure Doom Guy can get out. So I'm going to set this to comp blue because there is no waterfall texture in stock textures. And let's just, uh, let's just run this. Oh, silly me. I always forget. Let's add a player start first. Okay. Let's start running it. And you can see, let's test out if we could get out. Yes, we can. We could get out perfectly fine. Everything's gravy. Might want to, um... Let's raise this a bit. Yeah, okay, that's good. So obviously this <laughs> this doesn't look like deep water. So you're probably wondering, okay, well, how do you do deep water? Well, in Vanilla Doom, you want to make sure to select all these uh, line depths in the middle shape. And we're going to right click. And basically the easiest way to do it in Vanilla is you want to set the, this inner sector is sector 2, this one right here is sector 1, and then the initial one sector is 0. And you want to set the front side of these line deaths to the exact same as the back side. So we want it to be equal to whatever's inside 2, and we want this to be on the back side as well. And you'll see that uh, Doom Builder will render it correctly, and you'll see that if we run it, we have deep water. I will say this vanilla way of rendering it is, it's a bit janky in that sometimes you can't get up some sides. I notice this doesn't happen on the boom. It's very strange. I'm not exactly sure how to fix that except for making it like less tall, I guess. Uh, the dis the advantage of this is it will work in Vanilla Doom. So if I go over here, running in Chocolate Doom, you'll see that it renders correctly, and uh, you got you got some uh, deep water, and you can see right here, it's kind of difficult to get out. So what you might want to do, you might want to select that middle sector or this sector. And you might want to make it, I don't know, negative 8 instead. And then maybe negative 24. And if we run it now, you'll see that you can get out easier. It's a bit deeper. You have some deep water. We might make this a little bit more deeper, so... Negative 32 maybe. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's a bit nicer. But yeah, you can see the jank of the vanilla engine. But this looks like it's actually working well. You just gotta get the heights right. So the only problem with that is, at least in the in Doom Builder, the the sector, the like Doom Builder gets kind of confused of what sector is what. And like, if you ever like move a bunch of sectors, you might have to re uh, redo the line deaths to basically basically these line deaths are like self referencing the same sector on the back too. It's basically a flat. It's the bleeding of a f the the water flat on the sides. So what we'll do now is we'll do it the boom way. So let's uh, undo the weird shenanigans we did with the sectors so it's back to how it was and this is how you do it in boom so first of all for it to work in boom you want to take the middle one you want to make sure to give it a tag number you want to select one of these line defs you want to make sure that it's assigned to that of whatever like in this case we're using this outdoor or these outside like taller water that we want the 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 floor to be and basically create fake ceiling or floor we're creating a fake floor that's what the deep water is so it's it's taking the floor here and like putting it over tag one which is actually lower so like it's like it's like a fake 3d effect and a very important thing that I kind of just learned is you want to make sure that the line def is pointed towards the fake floor height you want to create. So since since we want the fake floor to be on negative 8, we want the line def to be pointed towards the outside and not the inside. So if I run this in a... Well, let's just run Chocolate Doom because it won't work. And you'll see because it's a boom feature. But if you run this through uh, PR Boom, you'll see that we have fake water. Or deep water, I mean. Now you'll see it's a bit weird because you do have a little step. There's really no way to stop that. And uh, you kind of want that for deep water just from the fact that like, the deeper the water is, the harder it is to get out. So it's kind of like a step to get out, I guess. So that is one way. There is another way, but I don't know how useful it would be because you're kind of limited to uh, how high you can make the fake floor. But what it requires, is it requires a dummy sector. So the way I like to create dummy sectors is I just create a small sector in the sector that I want to duplicate, take it out, just because it has like the, it has the, uh, it has the f ceiling and the floor that I want. And for this, let's make sure we remove the tag. Uh, we want, th so this, this dummy sector is exact, like it is whatever you want the fake floor to be. So negative eight. Now the difference is here, we are going to remove this effect. We're going to keep this as tag one, actually. We're going to extend this outside sector so it's literally just going to be two sectors, the water and the grass. So obviously, we're limited to how far we could do. I think it's like 24 Doom Guy can get out. So for example, let's just run this. And you'll see. It's not deep water, but you can still get out. Uh, but what you want to do here is we're actually going to use this dummy sector, take one of the line deaths, deaths, going to set it to tag one, and then we're going to create a fake floor. And now, if we run this through PR Boom, you'll see that the fake floor is created. Uh, the limitations with this method is even though you only have technically two sectors, uh, you're limited to how deep of the water you can make it. Uh, so, there's one thing I wanted to cover that I almost forgot. So, 
there is a benefit. Well, okay. Well, there is a... Let me just undo this. So we're gonna get, not do the... Uh, we're gonna go back to vanilla, because I want to show you something. Okay, we're back. Now, uh, there's some limitations that come with uh, doing deep water in vanilla versus doing deep water in a uh, boom. And the main thing would be is the way islands are treated. So I'm going to create a little island here. We're going to make it grass. Going to set to zero. And you're going to see it's exactly like uh, we're going to make it exactly like uh, the outside is with the ash. And there we go. So we're going to outline this island. And we're going to do basically. Oh, geez. We're basically going to do the exact same method. That we did with uh, the outside and that we're going to bring this up to what is this set to? So this is let's set this to negative eight. Let's set this to negative eight. Uh, guess I have to do the comp blue again. Great. Uh, so then we're going to do our little uh, well for vanilla. We're going to do our self-referencing sector. Well, actually, first I have to flip these. When you do self-referencing sectors, or it just makes, yeah, it makes life easier. You want to make sure it's very important where your uh, line deaths are pointed towards. Uh, so two, let's set this two now. And you could see in Do Builder, it does in fact show looks like I backed up enough that I got rid of my player start, so let's see. Okay, so this is PR Boom. And you'll see PR Boom is kind of intelligent in that it can kind of uh, render it correctly. However, if I run this through Chocolate Doom, you will see that Vanilla does not like islands. You could see that how it's treating the weird water at the bottom and you could see how the island is taller than it should be that is because uh vanilla uses like a flat bleed technique and it like doesn't know how to treat that middle island however this can be very useful when uh implementing it on boom so if you remember Actually, let me back up, make sure our sectors are normal again. Okay, sector's normal. Add player start. We're going to do the same technique. Make sure this is facing towards the height you want to copy. We're going to do two. We're going to do uh, create fake ceiling floor. And this should work. Well, not in ch not in Chocolate Doom, because Chocolate Doom is not boom. Is this the right sector? Hold on, this is sector two. Oh, I'm yeah okay. Got to make sure. It's it's through tags. Almost forgot. Man, okay. Now it should work correctly. And see, looks correctly. And so yes, so basically boom can do islands, vanilla can't. I mean it kinda can, it just doesn't look correct. And so that's how you do uh deep water in vanilla and doom. Or at least what I know how to do. There might be some other ways, but 
that's what I know. Uh, this has been Arsenic. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more videos.